Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on grouped frequency tables. Um, so grouped frequency tables are essentially the same as other frequency tables, except this time we're dealing with grouped data. Uh, so why might we group the data? Well, if we've got a large spread of data, uh, so over a large range of values, for instance, a height here, ranging from 150 to 190 centimeters, uh, then it helps to condense the data if we group it all together. So let's take a look at the notation that we'll be using for group data. So if we take a look at the first row, uh, which is 150 to 160, uh, what this means is that the height h falls between the values of 150 and 160. Uh, but we use these inequality symbols here, and there's a reason for that. So this one on the left is a strict inequality, so it doesn't include the value of 150. Uh, whereas the one on the right is an inclusive inequality, so it does include the value of 160. Now there's a very specific reason why we do this, and it's to prevent overlap at the edges of each group. Uh, so what do I mean by that? Well, if I had a height of 160 centimetres, I would be included in the first group, but I would not be included in the second group. So let's have a look at an example question. So the grouped frequency table below shows data on the weight of 117 cats. Find the modal class and the class containing the median. Uh, well, the modal class is just the most common class, so the one with the highest frequency. So as you can see, the highest frequency is 39. Uh, so therefore, the modal class is the class with the frequency of 39, uh, and that is 3.5 to 4 kilograms. So as for the median then, well the position of the median is given by n plus 1 divided by 2 and in this case n is 117 uh, so therefore n plus 1 over 2 is 118 over 2 uh, which is the 59th value. So now we have to find the weight class that contains the 59th value uh, and so to do that let's just total up the frequency column going row by row. Uh, so we've got 22 and then if we add 14 we get to 36 and if we add the next row 39 that takes us to 75 uh, so the uh, 3.5 to 4 weight class contains everything from the 37th to the 75th value so that obviously includes the 59th value so therefore it's our median weight class uh, so the median is therefore or the median weight class is 3.5 to 4 if you're feeling confident on this topic and you want to practice some group frequency tables questions, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform and you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So this is really useful, you'll find out where your strengths and weaknesses lie and find out how you can improve. If you're interested and you want to take the test, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.